What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and we are continuing our series on the road to victory, the road to the title, the French Open title to be specific, and we are now talking about the defending champion on the men's side, Rafa Nadal. So let's go have a look at who he's going to have to potentially beat in the coming rounds to get his 21st Grand Slam title. So his first round opponent is locked in. He's playing against Alexi Popperin, and these two have played the one time before. It was actually a couple of weeks ago in Madrid with Rafa getting a straight sets win, so you would expect that Rafa would get through his first round match. His second our matchup is likely to be Frenchman Richard Gasquet. Now, these two have a long, long history, but ever since they turned pro, it's all been Nadal. He leads their head-to-head 16-0, one of the most dominating head-to-head -head records of any two players. You would expect that Rafa would get through his second round match against Gasquet. His third round is projected to be against number 26 seed Lorenzo Sonigo, who's been in some form lately, and these two have never actually played before. So when that happens on clay, you would expect that Rafa gets the win against a younger player like Sonigo. His fourth round match, there's two potential potential opponents. The most obvious one being Yannick Sinner, who is the 18th seed. And these two have only played twice before with Rafa getting wins both times. And interestingly enough, both of those matches have been on clay. Sinner yet to win a set. So Rafa will be liking his chances against Sinner. And the second opponent might be the 14th seed Monfils. And Rafa has a 14-2 record against Monfils and has never lost a clay court match against the Frenchman. So no matter what happens, Rafa will love his chances going into that fourth round. Heading into the quarterfinals, there are three potential opponents Rafa could be facing and all three are very dangerous. First one being Andre Rublev, the number seven seed. Now Rafa does have a leading head-to-head -head record against Rublev, 2-1, but they played in Monte Carlo a couple of months ago and Rublev got the win. It was a big shock. So Rublev is going to be walking into that matchup with some confidence. Another potential opponent would be the 10th seed, Schwartzman. And Rafa has a 10-1 record against Schwartzman. So he'd be liking his chances, but Schwartzman did beat him last year on the clay courts of Rome. So Rafa's going to have to be careful against Schwartzman. However, he did beat Schwartzman a couple of weeks after that match at the French Open in the semi-finals. So you would expect Rafa would get through Schwartzman. And his third potential opponent could be the 24th seed, Karatsev. Now, these two have never played before because Karatsev is relatively new to the scene. So if Karatsev was to get to the quarterfinals and play Rafa, you would expect that Rafa would win that matchup, being that it was in Rafa Stadium at the French Open, the court that he owns. But you never know, Karatsev could throw up some problems for Rafa. So I think he wouldn't want to play him. If Rafa does make it to the semi-finals, there are two big names that he's He's most likely to face. And those are the two fellow goats. Djokovic, the world number one. That's the most likely scenario for Nadal. And these two have played a lot of times before with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 29-28. But the last two times they have played have been on clay and Rafa has won both of those matches. The last one being a couple of weeks ago in Rome. So Rafa on the clay is going to like his chances against Djokovic. And the other one being Federer, the number eight seed, which I think is less likely to happen. But if he does in fact play Federer, he actually has a 24-16 record over Roger. And we we all know that Rafa on the clay courts dominates Federer in most situations, with their last match being two years ago at the French Open, Nadal winning in straight sets. So if he does play Federer in the semifinals, you'd expect that Rafa would win. Going into the final now, and there are three big names that Rafa is likely going to face one of them. Tsitsipas being the most likely, the number five seed. Now Rafa does have a 7-2 record against Tsitsipas, but Tsitsipas did beat him in an epic five-setter at the Australian Open and almost beat Rafa in Barcelona. He had championship points in that final. Rafa getting the win. So City Pass will be liking his chances against Rafa. The second opponent that Rafa could face in the final is Dominic Team, the number four seed. Now, Rafa does have a 9-6 record against Team, but Team has won their last two matches, so he'll be liking his chances against Nadal. The only thing is, those were on hard court, and the last time they played on a clay court, it was Rafa winning in four. And the other opponent Rafa could be facing in the final is the number six seed, Zverev. Now, Rafa does have a 6-3 record against Sasha Zverev, but Zverev has won three of their last four matches, with one of them being on clay in Madrid this year. So if he he does face Zverev, and Zverev has a good day, especially has a good serve on the day. That could be a tough match for Rafa, but again, five sets at the French Open. Rafa's always going to be the favorite against anybody. So there it is, the projected road to the final for Rafa and to the title for Rafa. Let me know down in the comments below. How far can Rafa go? Can Rafa win another French Open? I think it's going to be a lot tougher than previous years. He's got some tough opponents from the fourth round onwards, and some very interesting wildcard opponents too. If he plays Karatsev, who knows what could happen? And of course, the Djokovic-Nadal matchup could be a semi-final. That will be epic. But again, let me know down in the comments below how far can Rafa go this year at the French Open. So the defending champion Rafa Nadal, the god of clay, has a pretty tough road ahead of him if he's going to defend his title.